And on August 17, we are back at Fuente de Artes in Makati, from where we pulled out for the Central Luzon journey starting on June 12. Dito na lang daw po. Jalandan, later. Daya, soda, later. For hot tea. Thank you. Okay, that will be the table for people. Thank you very much. And there is a picture of Jalandan. We'll make ourselves up just to don't worry too much. It's a lot. Thank you. As we present to you the 100th romantic piano concerto journey, an amazing classical project conceptualized by my mother and Professor Ray to bring classical music to our people. us two and a half years to get to this point of the 100th concert on this romantic piano concerto journey. In gratitude to both of you, may I ask this assembly to raise a very big high toast to our beloved concert pianists. May you have more years to come. Congratulate you both in behalf of, of all of us. Thank you. Cheers. 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 response to Donado's very warm and gracious and heartfelt remarks, I would like to say that Ray and I chose for the 100th concert to be very intimate and to be especially among our closest family and friends. For the 99 concerts 
Sometimes we play to audiences of five, six, or 7,000 in a single concert. And many of them were an audiences of 1,500 in school auditoriums and others in between. But for this very special one, we wanted to be in the mantle of those who have supported us, helped us, and shared in our mission and vision. But uh, besides our heartfelt gratitude to our family and friends, I would like to express a very personal gratitude to Maestro Reyes himself. I met him when I was 10 years old, and all this time I have considered him not only a mentor in music, but in life's philosophy as well. And to him, my deepest gratitude always. Maestro Reyes. This is why Ingrid and I have been trying to do it anywhere in the Philippines where it's going to be possible to bring two pianos to let everybody know how important it is for their own lives to appreciate classical music, not as an entertainment, but as a, a discipline and also as a therapy. And we are going, we're not going to stop because we are going to continue doing it. <laughs> But then it's not all just about the music. After every single concert, we had an open forum. Students and any member of the audience could ask us any question, and Professor Reyes and I promised to answer any question at all. Here are a few samples of such questions. What is the most special thing about being a pianist? And why did you prefer to be one of them? So, lahat na natin isip ko, nung bata ako, yun ang pinag-organic ako sa piano. What is your secret of being a popular icon in the world? We don't work very hard to be well known, but because we work very hard, we end up being known. That's what it is. That's the secret. It's, it's work, hard work. Those who excel in the arts somehow are always in the newspapers and uh, to announce their concerts. So maybe that's what makes them popular. Maybe it's as simple as that. But first of all, you have to be good. And to be good, you have to work very hard. That's the only secret, actually. What will you Music as a career. Now, if you're exceptional, there's a lot of money. If you're not exceptional, there's a lot of money. But if you are tenacious and you persevere, you will survive. You can be poor and happy in the piano, but you will survive that way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He wants to be a composer. Kung gusto mo maging composer, mag-aaral ka ng piano. Sa pagkat ng piano, ang pinakamagaling ang instrumento para matuto ng pagkakomposer. I just would like to know what you can tell us to help our students appreciate classical music in Mindanao at the La Salle Academy. They were also so very impressed and they asked this very, very same question. How can we do something immediately for the children? So Maestro has suggested playing classical music to the children. Do you know that the very, very next day they were doing Vivaldi seasons, Mozart, on the pipe system. So as the children came to school, they were hearing all this music. What is the main concept of classical music and how it can relate to different emotions and appearances of an individual? That's all. Thank you. You know, uh, during the cavemen, they did not know how to talk. During those period, they did not know how to say, I am the bravest and I am the strongest. Well, what do you think they did? They made music by thumbing their chest.
The advocate is now the use of plastics, especially of most fibers. Why not the reason First of all, they discovered that the babies inside the stomach of mothers can actually hear. They are able to distinguish classical music, especially the music of Mozart, because Mozart's music is so clear. You are not aware that it's by Mozart, but I'm sure everyone of you knows this tune.